everyone thank you for watching another jazzy wicks candle review i thought i'd switch it up and do another video where i'm on the camera i always used to do it like that when i first started my channel up but i started doing uh, videos where you could only see the candle just because it meant i could get more reviews out for you a bit quicker um, I always used to do my reviews in front of my Yankee Candle unit, but I thought I'd just do a little bit of something different today. Um, I thought I'd let you see me again. Just It's been a long time since I've done a video where I'm on the screen. Um, so today I wanted to review Village Candles Cozy Cashmere for you. As you can see, I've got the large 26 ounce jar and it's got the double wick. It's supposed, it's supposed to produce less soot, uh, have a brighter glow and burn more evenly with the double wick. Um, and you can see there isn't any soot around the edge. There's a little bit of residue and it has pulled very evenly. And I really like the lilac -y colour of the wax. Um, this, I like village candles because they do say the notes on the front as well. So this is a fresh air, which I think is a bit odd. I don't really see how you can say fresh air is a really nice smell or a note. Um, it's got woods, vanilla and white florals. Um, I don't normally buy village candles. It's just not really a candle brand that I go straight towards. And I don't know why, because... I have reviewed a few of these in the past and they are really really nice and they always give off a nice throw so i'm not sure why i stopped getting these i only managed to get this one because it was in the sale in a local store for me um, and i thought i will give it a go and the reason i aimed for cozy cashmere was because in one of my previous reviews you'll see that i've burned um lux cashmere by yankee candle and i gave it literally zero throw rating i was really disappointed with it i hated it <laughs> It didn't give off any smell whatsoever so i really wanted to get this review out straight after just to compare the two and sort of get a feel for how much this one was better than that um so i'm going to give it a throw rating of seven out of ten it's it's definitely a good throw but personally for me not a smell i would get again but definitely if you like a sort of woody musky sort of smell i would definitely go for this i would say it's more of a as much as the label and the color of it doesn't look like it I would say it's more of a sort of manly sort of smell in a way. Um, but obviously you might, if you like that woody sort of tone, then I'll definitely recommend getting this. It's just not a smell I like. But still very good throw rating, 7 out of 10. It was, it was, a, it was a good throw. It was, you could definitely smell it throughout the whole room. It filled the room and you could definitely smell those tones of the woody sort of muskiness. Um, I didn't get any really vanilla or florally scent from it. It was mainly just that woody musky smell. Um, but definitely if you like that I would highly recommend it um, it's just not a scent I would personally buy again but it definitely does throw well if you like that smell um, I know that on the village US candle is currently $15 roughly um, I looked on Amazon in the UK and Temptation Gifts which is a UK candle website and it's currently out of stock but I'm pretty sure you'll be able to buy it on eBay or some other sites um, but obviously just be careful that you don't get any duds or any um, fakes but yeah, definitely, if you like the woody musky smell, I would definitely say to go for it. It's it's a nice candle. It's 170 hour burn time, which I think is a little bit more than the Yankee candle sort of say. But I do find that because of the double wick, it does burn down quicker. So I'm not quite sure how true that is. Um, but overall, a good candle. If you like the woody musky smell, then I'd say give it a go. Um, just for me, on a personal level, I just don't like the scent. But I would definitely recommend, as it does have a good throw... Um, it was a nice candle to burn. It's not been disappointing. I will finish burning it. It's not a horrible smell. It's just not a, a candle smell I would normally go for. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed my review on the Cozy Cashmere by Village Candle. Um, and I hope you've enjoyed the slightly switched up video. Um, I might try and get a couple more. Now the weather's getting a bit nicer. Obviously the room's a bit brighter and it's a bit better for my video. So I'll, maybe I'll try and do a few more on camera for you again. But I will still be doing the ones where you just see the candle as well because then I can keep getting them out a bit quicker for you. Um, I did want to just say as well, I don't know if you watched one of my previous reviews where I reviewed a candle lantern and berry jam. Um, I didn't, as you can probably tell, I've, I've never done a review again with the candle lantern and that's because I did actually get rid of it. Um, even though I gave it a really good review and I said that I really enjoyed using it, I got rid of it, which was stupid now I'm looking back at it. Um, the reason I got rid of it is because it makes the candles take a long time to burn, although it does give them a better sort of throw and you get the candle lasting a lot longer. That's the reason I got rid of it, because as you know, I've got a lot of candles and the lanterns make them last so, so, so long. And I don't like the thought of having to tip out the old wax or soaking it up. Um, but unfortunately, I have had to buy another one. <laughs> My partner is painting the downstairs front room today and I've been moaned at because the candles have made the ceiling very dirty 
Um, you can really tell now he's put the new fresh white on it. It is really, really bad. Um, and obviously I use Aluma lids and stuff and I always trim the wicks and keep it the way you're supposed to, but I guess over so much time, it will affect the whiteness of the ceiling. So um, my next few candle reviews will still be with, without them, but I will let you know if I've used the Lantern because it does obviously, I feel like that can affect the throw because it is supposed to give them a much better throw rating. So obviously I don't want to review a candle and say it's got a really good throw with the Lantern and then you use it without the Lantern and say, I didn't get any throw off it. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed my candle review video for Cozy Cashmere and I'll get a new review out for you soon.